This is code.org, and we're on a check for understanding. So make sure you read these carefully, guys. Once you select one and hit submit, uh, your answer is submitted to your teacher. If I'm your teacher, that's me, but you can't change it, so you really want to think through this. Now, if you don't know off the top of your head when you enter RGB or red, green, blue color values, what color will pop out, you're a normal person. That's, that's why you don't know that immediately. However, what you can do is use your resources. I actually know this immediately, but I'm a, I mean, I'm deeply lame and like computers and, you know, but that's not lame. That's actually super cool. The lamer you are now in life, the cooler you are in the future. Mm, well, anyways, let me show you what I'm doing. All right. I'm going to, I'm going to test these. All right. So say I don't know. Let's test them out. Thankfully, we can. I'm going to just go back one bubble and go over here. Yep. And notice we got to set the colors here. So what was that first one? 10, 25, 50. All right. Let's give that a shot. 10, 25, 50. And this is the great thing about code, guys. You can test it. Get your hands dirty or gray or, oh, that's definitely not gray. Okay. Well, that one's out. Mm, 50, 125. Okay. Wait a minute. Is that the same? 50, 125. Those are both just up a little. Ooh, 150, except that's red. 250, 200, 250. Let's try that. So the interesting thing about gray, that's getting there, is that all the colors actually are going to need to be equal because it's going to be the same amount of each color to produce gray. So this one, boom. Boom, 125. Again and again, guys, though, use your resources, test stuff, break stuff. It helps. Onward.